hello, it's me, Spider-Man. That's right, I'm real, just like Santa Claus. Hello everyone, my name is Kai, or probably Spider-Man, and today we're going to be going over the fan designs that you guys sent me last week in my how to create your own Spider-Man suit video. For those of you who submitted your designs, thank you so much for submitting them. We only have about 14 designs to go over today, and we're, I'm essentially just going to be going over each design and critiquing it and applying the rules and knowledge from last week. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This design comes to us from Tuchmut on Twitter. Let's take a look. Off the bat, I'm already really liking generally everything about this costume. Uh, I do love that it sticks to loathing feel, where like he's not necessarily wearing spandex, he's wearing clothing. Like, you've got the belt, I oh, fuck. Like for example, you've got his belt here, you've got like his, his tactical combat gloves, you've got his boots, and of course he's wearing a turtleneck sweater, which is very charming. I love that. Everything about this suit I find is balanced really nicely, except for the gloves. I think you could really benefit from adding some of that darker red onto the glove area to balance out the amount of red that's placed through the accessories on the costume. Although I will say I do think that Touchmut followed my ideas about how you should incorporate accessories into your Spider-Man outfit, be it with the belt, the gadgets, the boots. I love it. I think Touchmut did a really good job on this design. If there's one thing I'd have to say, and this is much less a uh, complaint and more an idea. I think maybe you should experiment with having the head of the spider do the same thing the body of the spider does. Because I quite like the way that looks. And of course it's just an idea. You don't have to change your design to fit one of my ideas that come out of nowhere. But other than that, I really like this design. This one did a really good job. This one comes from Spider Sniper. And we're going to take a look at it here. Now this... This costume has a few things that stick out to me already. Um, as you can see, he's got like border consistency, but in a really weird way. He's got a really thin line, and then he's got a really thick line. But he always makes sure to use both of them at the same time. Like for example, look, thin, thick. He's got his, he's got a weird way of doing line thickness that I actually really like. If there's one thing I don't really like, it's that these leg pads come out of nowhere. If you even take a look at the side of the costume here, they actually do just come out of nowhere. It's not like the Insomniac costume where they're close enough to the belt so you can tell it's supposed to be connected that way. But the thigh, the thigh pieces sort of come out of nowhere and it throws it off for me. The belt here is also odd because the way he's segmented it, he clearly knows that he can't have the thick line run through here, so he just completely cuts it off. Which I find kind of odd because he's found a way to implement the thick line everywhere else in the costume. And I think just having the segmented belt here is really what removes his ability to do the thin line. I think if he just connected the belt, he'd be able to continue the border consistency. You know, and border consistency meaning he'd be able to have the thick and then the thin, but I'm not sure how he could do this with a segmented belt. So I think the segmented belt, for me, it would have to go. Let's take a look at the hood here. The hood is a particularly odd case because I feel like the black on this hood sort of comes out of nowhere. If there's one thing I would suggest, I would suggest, oh fuck. I would suggest experimenting with maybe a red hood and then having a black mask so that the redness doesn't come out of nowhere. So he's got like the, the Spider-Man eyes or whatever. But instead, the red from the base of the costume carries over. And then he's got sort of a black mask. And then he could even have the white undertone. He could do something like this. And if he even wanted, he could have white webbing on the inside. But for me, I think a lot of my issues with this costume are that it is inconsistent. Meaning that a lot of things just come out of nowhere. And discontinue out of nowhere for example belt the hood and the thigh piece other than that this costume has really good logo synchronicity the logo synchronicity on this costume is really good now i have one of my favorite costumes in this video right here 
from butt lazy cosplay. This costume is one of the greatest Miles redesigns I think I've ever seen. I only have one issue with it. I just have one issue and that it looks way too much like something Peter would wear. Like if I saw this without having him unmask, I would have thought that it was Peter wearing this costume. But now that I've got that complaint out of the way, let's let's get more in depth. He's got the spider logo sort of creating the chest element. I've seen a couple of Spider-Man suits do this, but I think this suit pulls it off really well. I, I want to see the back of this costume. I'm sure to enjoy it. He's got a really interesting thing going on where all of the red or all of the ends of his costume, for example, the gloves, the boots, and the head, they all end with red, which I really, really like. This costume is a little bit top heavy, but I think I've gone back on my thoughts about having a top heavy costume. Of course, there is a need for color balancing, but of course, I think having a costume that's just a tiny bit top heavy isn't really an issue. So I think this costume for me is just magnificent because you've got you've got the red running all throughout the costume. You've got red elements all over it. It doesn't just drop off at the bottom. It's got stripes all over it and it's just amazing. This is one of the best redesigns I think I've ever seen in my entire Spider-Man career. And I think But Lazy Cosplay did an amazing job. All right, this one comes from Tristan Nunez. Let's take a look. I really, I actually really like this costume. Usually I don't, I'm assuming this is like a, a marker cost or like something drawn in marker. I usually, I did not accept a lot of the marker drawings because they were really under because they were really under detailed um but this i think like gets me over that issue because you've got a front profile and a back profile so for future reference if you're ever sending me a costume one please do not draw it in crayon or something low detail and two make sure i can clearly see all of the elements of your design which means you're probably not going to be having your Spider-Man doing any like dramatic scrunchy poses. Off the bat, I really like the choice of going with orange and black. I think that looked really good. It's like a more orangey red. I actually like removing the web pattern on this costume because instead of the accent color being black with the webbing, it's now gold with these gold elements, which I actually really like. Uh, I like the spider logo on the front. I don't know how I feel about the one on the back. I think the one on the back is too odd looking because you've got all these legs that just straight up make a weird sh fuck what is wrong with my voice today i think the legs just make a really weird shape as opposed to the front logo where they sort of sprawl out in all directions in an appealing way the back logo has a really odd shape where it just points downward and i'm not sure if i'm a fan of that i do like these gold accents i think they're really nice and i of course really like the mask i also like the formatting of the suit where it does stuff like this. I think that's really cool. Um, of course, the web wings are a nice touch. I think this costume is really cool, and I honestly, I like it almost as much as I like my Oscorp suit redesign from a previous video. Avant, also known as Black Shinobi YT, and under, or, or fuck. All right, we have another design from uh, Javant, or Havant. Uh, you can reach him at Black Shinobi YT on Instagram, and Black Shinobi underscore YT on Twitter. Uh, let's take a look. This design, I actually really like because it again goes for a similar idea that the the first one we reviewed had where it was sort of like a an outerwear sort of feel and this suit goes for more of a track track suit kind of feel which I actually really really like there's one thing I'd say uh, I think the webbing on this suit is really inconsistent you've got webbing on the mask and then nowhere else on the costume I'd maybe recommend having some web lines going up and down some places maybe certain areas of the costume of course don't ex exactly copy my format because I'm not really putting much thought into it but uh, I like everything about this costume I also like the J's that's nice the only thing I have to complain about is the uh, the back logo here not really sure how I'm feeling about it uh, I think just the legs jutting off in different directions like that is really unappealing because you've got like a really wide start and then it just ends really thin and I'm not sure if I enjoy that I just think it looks odd 
I, I would have no issues with him just taking the front logo and putting it on the back this time. Uh, other than that, this costume has really good color balancing, although I would recommend adding the purple to the edge of the pants here. I think having the purple down there would just balance it out and correlate it with the, the glove there. But other than that, I really like this costume, and I think you did a good job. All right, this one's from Arachnid Arts on Insta. Let's take a look. This is the striking Spider-Man outfit. Now, if there's one thing I like about this costume, it attempts to go for the white accent, but it does it very sparingly. I was looking at this costume and I was a little conflicted because a lot of the elements of this costume are lined with white, but then there's no white lining around the belt area and no lining around the boots area. But then, you know, I realized that the white lining is very sparse and there is enough white lining in certain areas of the costume where I feel like you can get away with it being this sparse. For example, he's got it on his gauntlets, he's got it on his soles, and he's got it on the top half of his costume here. I feel like this is balanced enough to work. Again, I also really like the logos. There's a, there's a bit of synchronicity in between these two logos. I understand that having a fatter spider would have ruined Fuck! Why do I keep voice cracking? I understand that having a fatter spider would have ruined the sort of low-key feel it has on the front. So I'm actually more okay with it taking up space in the back like this. The legs go in a similar direction. So I would say yes, these logos have enough synchronicity for me. And also while I'm here, uh, I wanted to try to accept as little classic suits as possible. Because a lot of you guys just sent me classic suits with very little difference from the original and as much as i'd like to sit here and go over classic suits every day uh i'm going to present you with a rule of thumb instead if you have a genuine change that you think would actually make the classic suit better please think about it and then decide whether you should go through with it because that suit is nearly perfect and i don't think there's a lot of things you can do to it to make it better but that's all i have to say hey there i'm skrillock i know skrillock i follow skrillock art on twitter i'm not gonna read that i'm sorry skrillock here is skrillock's design hold on i'm taking a fucking uncrustables break okay i've had this uncrustable sitting on my desk for a little bit i'm about to eat it up take a little uncrustables break Aw, oh, damn it the peanut butter melted see i like to have the the peanut butter, I like to take it out of the freezer and then have the peanut butter be hard so that it like feels like chocolate. So think about it like this. You've got a soft bread outside, a crunchy peanut butter inside, but crunchy like hard chocolate, and then jelly on the inside. That's good. Okay, I'm back. I do have like half a cup of milk here to finish, so I will be drinking it throughout the video. I don't want to hear shit from you, Trey. Here we have the design from Skrillock Arts. We're gonna take it. We have several reference images of it here. Uh, let's let's keep looking. I'm gonna. I, there's a specific one I had in mind. This one. Let's take a look at this one. So off the bat, I'm a big fan of the soles. I love that it has soles. That's very nice. Um, and I do love how much the black plays into the design of this outfit. I find that really appealing. Like, I, I love how much the black comes through in this outfit. Now, some might say that it is over-designed. And I might disagree. But at the same time, I'm not sure if I can. Okay, uh, Kai coming in in post here. I would. I would say it is over-designed because they don't really serve a purpose. You can see on the back here, they do sort of create a web pattern, but everywhere else they just sort of come off as random lines. Okay, now back to, to pre-Kai, I think. I really like this design, I'm kind of iffy on it because it's such a, it's such a complex thing, but I quite enjoy it. Alright, this design comes from the almighty Miwo, and let's take a look. So off the bat, we really have a very clear color palette. We got a white secondary, or we have a white primary color, a red secondary color, and then you've got your black accents, which I really, <coughs> really like. If there's one issue I have with this costume is that 
you've got teched out battle armor, teched out battle armor, pants, teched out boots. I would just, the only issue I have with this costume is the boots. Or not the boots. The only issue I have with this costume is the pants. I think the pants throw it off because you've got all this super high tech gear and then the homie's just wearing pants. You know what I mean? It's a little odd. I would recommend like not, you don't have to like have tactical pants or like armor pants or anything like that. You could just get like some, you could get some tactical pants that have like a white and red design and maybe throw some knee pads on it or something. And of course, continue the black accent because off the bat, everything about this costume is really nice. I also love the more neutral hair color. It allows the costume to sort of blend together way better with his hair showing because the hair is so neutral. But other than that, I just think the pants, the pants are the main issue for me because they are just pants. They're just a regular pair of pants. He's got a belt too. All right, let's look at this design from Umbru here, the homie Umbru. Uh, I actually really like this, the, the logo on this costume because you can tell it's made out of three separate pieces. Bam, bam, or four actually, which I really like. Uh, and let's take a look at the design here. Now, we don't really get to see the back of this design, and I feel like that's okay, but I would like to see the back of it for me to give like a, like a, uh, like a really well thought out take on it. I like this costume, but the boots and the gloves are really different because you've got, you've got the glove that sort of goes for this trail design, and then you've got the boots that just sort of wrap around the leg like that. I would recommend either A, making it so that the gloves do the same thing the boots do. This is a hand, okay? I'm not trying. You can have it so the gloves do the same thing the boots do, or you could have it so that the boots do the same thing the gloves do, where there's a trail that comes down, and it goes right down the leg like that. I would, I think the, the glove suggestion would go much better, or... Or you could sort of merge these two ideas and have there be a, a, a boot line here that goes down the the foot. And then you could have a wraparound on the gloves too. So you could sort of have it go like this, like that. But other than that, I really like this design already. I would just, you know, critique the... I would just critique the way it lines up. And I also like the use of velvet. I think having it all be made out of like a, a purpley velvet is, is really interesting. Okay, so here we have a Prowler Spider-Man mashup. I believe reading the email, it said that this was a what if universe where Miles Morales became a mix of Spider-Man and the Prowler. And of course, you've got the, uh, you've got the Satan, uh, you've got Satan semen here trailing around him, very interesting. So off the bat, this costume has really good color balancing. You've got the ends of the fingers being purple, and you've got the trail going down, then you've got the trail going down, ends of the feet are purple. Very nice color balancing. Uh, of course, you've got the gauntlets, and as I said before, you can add like web shooters or gauntlets to the wrists without losing too much quality. So I think it still looks really good. Um, there's one issue I have. It's that this mask mouth piece here is a little odd because it's a completely different material than the lenses. If I'd recommend changing anything, it's that you make it black like the lenses. And if you want to add these elements back, you can add the elements back, but in the color of the lenses. Because I think having the different material there really throws it off because you've got like black, black, and then you just got bright gray. So I do think that is a little weird. And I also think it could work without this sort of mouthpiece at all. You could always go a My Hero Academia route and have him have like a massive sort of like mask mouthpiece like Deku's. I think something like that could work here. But other than that, I quite like this design. I think it's I, I think they did a good job. All right, let's get to one of my favorite designs I think I've seen in this video. This is Webball. I really, really like... I don't know if Webball is her name. I just I just assume that it's Webball, and then you've got a character bio, so I have no clue of if her name is Webball or not. Um, so off the bat, you've got really cute pastel colors. I love the pastel purple and then the pastel pink. That's really cool. Um, if there's one thing I want to say 
I think it's that the boots having these rims are quite odd because nothing in the co nothing else in the costume is is ribbed like that. But they they sort of go for a Wonder Woman womany feel when the rest of the costume doesn't. So I'm not really sure. I don't think it's enough to decrease the quality of the costume by too much. I think it still looks very good. Uh, I love the dress feel. I think the dress. I think the dress is a really cool idea. I also really like the hair. I like that. I like that her hair is what she uses to stick to walls and not her fingers. I think that's really cool. Everything about this costume I really like. I don't really have too many issues with it. I do think having a belt that loop that loops around the back could work. And there's sort of like a belt that goes before the the dress part, and the dress part kind of shoots from out of the belt. But other than that. I still like everything about it, and of course you have a really modernized Ditko-esque front logo here. I really like that. I think the head of the spider is small enough to where it being an upside down logo isn't really an issue. A lot of people don't like upside down logos, but I think you have to do them right. This is a really sweet design, and I really like it. Now I saw this costume in my emails, and it was so good, it was so good that I had to add it. This design from Tyler Joseph is absolutely spectacular. He he thought about how to work accessories into your costume amazingly. You've got casual clothing that isn't like too Spider-Man-y, which is perfect because it's casual clothing, and he thought about how to make these accessories work. I love that. You've got the gloves, those are cool, and the green elements on the gloves balance it out. You've got the green jacket, the, the goggles are a really nice touch. He does have a massive fucking forehead though, but that's okay. You've got the skates. I love the color palette on this costume. The color palette on this costume is amazing. You've got like a pale yellow, a mint green, and then a like a, a, a grayish, a greenish gray. I fucking love that. I also love that his alter ego has a purple element added to the color scheme. I really fucking enjoy this costume. I think this costume does an amazing job color balancing. I think there is so much of a connect between the hero and the alter ego that I think is really cool. And I just love everything about this design. It balances out the colors really well. And the thing about having a more casual Spider-Man outfit is that you can get away with doing less color balancing because it's not a traditional superhero outfit. So I think the way this costume does color balancing really really works for me because these elements are clothing items so it would make sense that they're not exactly as unified as they should be but I still find that they have a really good sense of unity like every piece of this costume works and I love it so much I think they just did a great job the detachable skates is a nice touch too I I, I, I just think Tyler did an amazing job with this costume and I love it I think he looks great all right let's get on to the last design of this video and uh, this one is a, I believe it is a, hold on, let me stretch. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be a Spider-Man 2099-esque concept, but it's like regular Spider-Man. Uh, off the bat, I think one thing I want to say is that there's not much about this costume that clues me into it being Spider-Man. You've got eyes here, and that's essentially it. That's all of the stark sort of ideas that present itself to be Spider-Man. And I know some of you might be saying, but Kai, isn't that, isn't that a spider logo on the front? I suppose it's supposed to be, but to me, this doesn't really look like a spider logo. It's, first of all, the head and the body are way too big and the legs are way too small and they come out in the most odd places. I'm not the biggest fan. Other than that, I think the, the formatting of it is, is quite alright. I think if it had a more standard Spider-Man design, I actually wouldn't really mind it all too much. I do think the design of it leans way too much into having these lines instead of having like a actual like color format for the costume. A lot of it just relies on doing color balancing via lines. And I think I'm not the biggest fan of that. I also don't really enjoy all of these random spikes all over the costume. I'm not the biggest fan of those because there's not really anything that would 
imply that there should be lines to this costume. Like, for example, the 2099 Spider-Man, his costume is made entirely out of sharp lines. He's got his lenses, you've got like his super sharp skull spider logo, and then he has the arm talons that come off of his arms. But this costume has, you know, really kind of friendly looking eyes, and I guess the only thing that clues you into it is this spider logo, but I don't think the spider logo does a really good job being a spider logo and therefore I think the spikes come out of nowhere and I'm not the biggest not the biggest fan of them there I do like the color palette though I do think the sort of black with a hint of blue and the hot pink are really cool together I do really like that but other than that I don't think I'm the biggest fan of this costumes design all right that's it that's all that's all I got for this video. That's all I got for y'all. There's no more. There's no more designs. No more. You guys will never design anything for me ever again. I'll never ever go over any of your designs ever. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, of course, the PSM submissions email will stay open. So if I do another video like this in the future, I will always be looking through that email to find designs for videos, for future videos, and maybe again i'll review some outfits you know what i mean maybe i'll review some more spider-man outfits but other than that that's all for this video i'm sorry if your design didn't show up this week maybe i'll review a couple of designs maybe i'll maybe once a month i'll review a couple of designs sent in through the email but other than that that is all thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it if you haven't yet please be sure you, ch you check out last week's video and you fucking subscribe